Hello, and welcome to the instructional video on removable prosthesis identification. For a complete denture 2 course at New York City College of Technology, Department of Restorative Dentistry. My name is Professor Galvis. Let's get started. To begin, we already have a name printed on a small sheet of plastic. This will serve as our identification for this instructional video. The first step is to prepare the area. You want to locate an area that is not in the aesthetic zone. On a maxillary, it's usually somewhere on the posterior palatal portion, and on the mandibular, usually on the lingual portion of the denture. Once an area has been located for the ID tag, it can then be grinded to create a recess where the ID tag will sit within the denture. It should be noted that with technological advances, we now have the capability of inserting barcodes or microchips inside of dentures. This allows applications on your cell phone to scan or track the location of the denture. Once the recess has been made, the ID tag can then be placed centered within the recess. To proceed to the following step, you will need clear, cold cure, or self cure resin, usually referred to as orthodontic resin. First step is to wet the area receiving the acrylic with monomer. This will aid in the bonding of the new acrylic to the pre-existing acrylic. Next, take your polymer or monomer and create a mixture. If the consistency is too liquidy, it will run everywhere. If it's too thick, it won't flow into the recess you've created. A proper mixture is paramount in making sure that the tag stays in place. Once the proper consistency has been reached, you can then apply the clear acrylic over the tag, making sure that it completely encompasses the tag within the denture. Once the ID tag has been completely covered in clear resin, you can then place the denture in a pressurized environment, usually using a pressure pot. The water temperature should be 115 degrees Fahrenheit, the pressure should be at 20 pounds per square inch, and it should remain in the water for 20 minutes. Once the time has elapsed, you can retrieve the denture from the pressure pot and finish the surface with a carbide burr. Removing too much, you risk hitting the ID tag. Not enough, it could be too much acrylic and be uncomfortable for the patient. You want to be sure that the name tag is legible. The next step is pumicing, which is making use of a wet abrasive that feels almost like wet sand. This will smooth the acrylic surface. Wet pumice can be manufactured in different consistencies and grits, but they are usually used with rag wheels and lathes as seen in this video. After smoothing the area with pumice, the last step is to polish. This will achieve a high luster. A polishing compound is first applied to the rag wheel, and then from the rag wheel applied to the denture. After a few rotations, you can see the ID tag area is now fully polished with a high luster, and the name is legible. 